and, and I'm speaking for, I think the way a lot of people feel is there's a lot of negativity these days in America. It seems like everyone is at their throat of everyone else. Um, you're on a show that's popular with all people. You're on a show that, you know, kind of represents America in a positive light, the military in a positive light. You served in the worst of situations. For people who might be down and out or losing faith in the country or think this is a terrible place, what would you say to them to remind them, like, we, we're we lucky to be here and we got some badass dudes who, who will make sure everything's going to be okay? So it's a great question, and I'll say it this way. Um, the Yes, people are at each other's throats, um, and I am now of the opinion um, that that's not that's not accidental. I absolutely believe it's intentional um, because you can see it. Um, I believe it's intentional, and therefore, uh, to me, the way to the way to heal this country is not to get give in to that intentional separation. It's don't let whatever, you know, they, the powers that be, whatever you want to call it, don't let them separate us. Don't let them make each make us hate each other for our differences. At the end of the day, we are all part of the same country and we should we absolutely have infinitely more in common right. than we have differences. So I believe this country now needs to essentially band together um, specifically despite, um, you know, why are we being separated? And look, I'm not a conspiracy theorist by any means, <laughs> but I I don't see how, uh, you, you know, there's there's a some there's something stoking the fire. Um, I'm not saying I know what it is, but I'm saying uh, that we need to fight that fire and come together as Americans and, and unify uh, rather than and look for similarities rather than look for differences.